Smartphone cameras have come a long way from pop-up selfie cameras to 108 megapixel high resolution sensors to periscope style telephoto lenses. But now Vivo is bringing something brand new with its latest smartphone offering, the X50 Pro. And the Chinese smartphone maker has made a reputation for making decent budget and mid-range smartphones and while the company has introduced some innovative features, it hasn't got the recognition it deserves. The new Vivo X50 Pro is the most premium offering and brings the company's efforts in creating a really interesting camera mechanism. This phone comes with a unique gimbal system that makes the camera super stable and smooth. But before I dig deep, let's look at the design. Now, the X50 Pro might look like most of the smartphones out there. In fact, the handset looks a lot like the OnePlus 8. However, Vivo has put in some good amount of effort in refining it. Now, this has a curved glass front and back finish, which feels subtle and really good in the hand, especially with the frosted finish on the back. Notably, even after having all that glass, Vivo has done some sort of magic as the handset feels really light, weighing at 180 grams. Another notable design aspect is how Vivo has managed to keep its camera module fairly compact despite having a gimbal system inside. Now moving to the display, we get a 6.56 inch curved OLED panel along with 90Hz refresh rate and 180Hz touch response rate. The display also houses a fast fingerprint scanner and a small punch hole on the upper left corner. The panel is pretty good and produces punchy colors and deep blacks. Thanks to the high refresh rate, animations and games feel quite smooth. Now the Vivo X50 Pro is touted as a flagship, but the core hardware suggests otherwise. The handset comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G which is an upper mid-tier chipset. This was also recently seen on the newly announced OnePlus Nord smartphone. Vivo has paired this chipset with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, which sounds ample in today's time. Now the processor is no slouch and is capable of performing quite well in most situations, be it basic tasks or heavy gaming. It breezes through most apps and even handles multitasking quite well. Having said that, the Vivo X50 Pro does not pack a flagship 800 series Snapdragon processor, something that almost every competitor is offering in the sub-50,000 price range, thus making this a difficult phone to recommend for someone who wants top-of-the-line specs and is future-proof for at least 2-3 to three years. Now, Vivo continues to offer its custom user interface over Android 10 called FunTouch OS. The UI comes with just a few pre-installed apps along with custom icons, animations and a bunch of stuff all around. But overall, the skin felt lightweight and pretty snappy to me. Coming to the main highlight, the cameras. Now, the X50 Pro features quad cameras including a 48 megapixel Sony IMX598 sensor it offers an f1.6 aperture sitting on this unique gimbal style stabilization mechanism. There are three other cameras as well including a 30 megapixel sensor, an 8 megapixel telephoto camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now in my testing I found the gimbal camera system actually works really well and is capable of removing camera shakes that are seen in most handheld shots on most smartphones. Once you enable it and calibrate it, the camera app shows a visual animation of the gimbal mechanism showing the phone's movement in a visible manner and just how stable the frame is. It is clearly way better than most EIS and OIS solutions found on most modern smartphones. Now, Apart from offering superior stabilization, you get impressive results in a variety of other situations including low light scenarios the system helps remove the effects of unwanted shakes but there are a bunch of different modes that you can play around with including a starry night mode which can shoot the night sky. It tries to mimic the Google Pixel's astrophotography mode but falls just a little short. 
Apart from that, the camera also comes with a periscope lens that can shoot well detailed shots at up to 5x optical zoom and can stretch the limit to 60x. Also, the front camera incorporates a 32 megapixel sensor which can take some decent looking selfies as well. Now moving to the battery department, this phone comes with a 4315mAh battery pack which supports 33W fast charging. The bundle charger does support the fast speeds and it takes about 70 to 75 minutes to fully top up the battery. Once fully charged, the phone lasts all day without any issues thanks to the power efficient Snapdragon 765 chipset. Now at 49990, the Vivo X50 Pro is not cheap. It is going head to head with the likes of OnePlus, Samsung, Realme and even Xiaomi's top of the line Mi 10, all of which offer a lot more on paper. The Vivo X50 Pro does excel when it comes to all the necessary needs of a smartphone user and even brings a camera system that is not seen on any other smartphone on the market. The X50 Pro could turn out to be a big hit for Vivo, but it is not going to have it easy. The only small gripe I might have is that it doesn't include a flagship Snapdragon 800 series processor. Other than that, this is a really good smartphone.